All right, so, all right, so the execution environment is created, fresh ready function is called. Its parent is the function environment. It's ephemeral, it means that it'll disappear unless you explicitly do something to save it, right? Um, so here we have a function, right? Um, it increments A every time, but yet, um, but if we run it, hold on there, G of 10, G of it, it's gonna get one, run it, G of 10. It's, it's never going to do the, the increment. Well, I mean, it will never, Right, which okay. Um, so he gives two examples of of preserving um, of, of of how to preserve the execution environment. One is to explicitly return it from the function, and then the other one is to return a function which binds it, which is uh, kind of complex. Um, but here's the example of a function returning the current environment. So I can do h2 of 10. So it returns. So this would have been the execution environment. And then the other way of returning the execution environment is to return a function and that functions environment that functions function environment will be the current environment of the function it's in which is the execution environment right so run this code um well yeah i mean you, we don't have any means of checking but but that's the code that will retrieve the execution environment. So unless you do something, unless you take one of these special measures, you will lose the execution environment. 